Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. Now, we've already looked at an introduction to jQuery plugins. We're going to go ahead and install this particular plugin called Show Password. Now, what this does, uh, looking at the description, I've already tested this plugin and it's working perfectly, is it adds a customizable Show Password checkbox, so a checkbox next to the input field uh, password and it allows uh, your or the users to view their password as they're typing it so you can check this button and your password will can be will be converted or shown uh, as opposed to the original asterisks or uh, or circles that are shown in most browsers so i've come over to plugins.jquery.com/project/showpassword so if you want to follow along this uh, tutorial of installing this plugin uh, then go ahead to that uh, address now and follow along the the links that I click. Now there's no res uh, there's no releases actually uploaded onto the uh, onto this jQuery page, uh, but we have a resources section here where we where we can go over to the home page uh, of this or the author the plugin of this author or the author of this plugin rather. So when we go down, uh, we get some more description about it. We can view a demo and also download this as well. So let's go ahead and first of all view a demo. That's quite important so we know how it functions uh, and how it should function. Uh, you can see that we've been giving a, a usage snippet just here. Uh, and just further down, there's some more um, options that we can give it. Uh, we're, we're just going to be focusing on installing the plugin and the best ways to do this. So let's say I was to go ahead and type a password just in here the show password checkbox I can now click uh, and the text will be shown inside of here uh, when I click this again the uh, text will be converted back to a secret password so more and more nowadays these uh, these are cropping up to show you the password as you're typing it particularly uh, for example if you're entering a web key for a uh, connecting to a router uh, a wireless network uh, they usually have some kind of show password option so perhaps if you're entering some kind of long but secret data uh, you might want to just show this so you can see it uh, you know as long as no one's around you uh, and that might be useful when actually typing it in depending on how complicated it is so let's go back to the author's homepage uh, and let's go ahead and just click download and, and receive this zip file as a download so we've got this uh, zip file here which we can open and inside we've got three files. Now index.php automatically shows me that this could be uh, a demo file and it is in fact a demo file. So most plugins are going to come with these files where they uh, have a page set up ready for you to use. We've also got um, jQuery.showPassword.js and jQuery.showPassword.min.js and the majority of plugins will have the jQuery uh, notation on the front of them uh, and then there's the plugin name and then obviously it will be a JavaScript file. Now the one that we want to go for is the minified version. Uh, as with jQuery a lot of plugins do come with minified and uncompressed versions. Um, you can see the size difference just here. This one's 1.7 megabytes and this one's 2... Uh, uh, this would be kilobytes. Yeah, sorry, this is kilobytes uh, and then 2.1. So we're looking at a much smaller uh, package if you wanted to go ahead and modify a plugin for any reason and the author has provided you with an uncompressed version uh, you can go ahead and use this one uh, but it's always best to use a minified version of, of a plugin or jQuery uh, just to keep page load uh, time down or to a minimum so at the moment on my page I just have a style sheet included which isn't relevant in this case but the main thing to look out for is we have this jQuery.js so we have jQuery included jQuery plugins require jQuery so you're going to need to make sure you've included jQuery before you include the plugin files. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up uh, my directory, uh, my root directory and go over to the JavaScript uh, folder. Uh, I'm then essentially going to either copy this over to this J JavaScript folder. JavaScript folder is just where I keep all my plugins or my jQuery just to keep them neat. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel that and I'm going to double click on this to open it up in my text editor. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this entirely, select it all and copy it entirely. I'm going to close this off and I'm going to open up a new document. And I'm going to go ahead and save this as jQuery show password.js. 
Now the reason I tend to do this rather than just copying files is, I, is so I can give them my own names. Um, I like to keep file names neat and tidy uh, into a certain structure so I've used jQuery hyphen show password dot js uh, the same as jQuery UI here I've named jQuery UI so we've now uh, saving out this file ensuring that it is a JavaScript extension now that we've saved that out it's ready to use so we can go ahead and close that now what we want to do is at the footer of our uh, page we want to go ahead and include this as well as jQuery so I'm going to type script type equals and then just end the script there and the type is obviously text forward slash JavaScript and the source we're going to go ahead and supply so that's JS forward slash jQuery show password dot JS so now that I've saved that out uh, if we come over to my page here and refresh uh, that should now be included uh, as long as I've spelt this right uh, and the file actually exists it will be included in the page now as with all jQuery or JavaScript we we'll want to keep all of our code in an external file so I'm going to go ahead and create a new file and save this in the JS folder as well and this is just going to be called password.js 